r slash ask reddit cruise ship workers of reddit what was the biggest oid moment on the boat that luckily passengers didn't find out about at all water pipe burst in a storeroom and soaked all of the spare toilet paper this was on day two of a 14-day voyage to antarctica the cabin stewards had to swap around rolls of paper between low use and high use guest cabins and it came right down the wire none of the guests found out or realized now toilet paper is hidden in every cabin instead of a centralized location I'm working on a cruise ship currently. One time we had to turn around to take someone to a hospital, and then there was a fire in the laundry room, and it was also pretty rocky seas. Also people die on cruise ships, and the bodies are kept in a special freezer. I mean, you gotta do something with the body if you're a sea. I worked on a cruise ship for 3 years. I've got a lot of these kinds of stories, but here's my favorite one. Our ship officers got a call from a ship of a completely different cruise line, off the coast of Cozumel, Mexico. They found one of our passengers floating in the ocean. He wasn't even near the shore at all, just floating in open water. He was alive and perfectly fine. They reviewed the security footage, and in the middle of the night this guy was drunk on deck 5, and could be seen holding his phone, dancing to music by himself. He then climbed onto one of the lifeboats, and did a running jump into the ocean. He left his phone on top of the lifeboat. His body was so fluid from being drunk that he wasn't injured when he hit the water. The cruise ship spotted him and rescued him. His family didn't know he was missing because he had booked a separate room. This guy told the news that a rogue wave pushed him off the side of the ship. He was on deck 5, so the wave would have been over 40 feet tall. Don't know what happened after that. The entire crew was talking about it 4 weeks before it hit the news, though. I was touring a ship for a future event. The ship was about to leave for a 100 plus day cruise. I saw a lot of old people getting on with oxygen tanks. I asked him what happens if they die on board. He said it was very common for old people blow their life savings to come spend their last days on this cruise. He also said they have a fully functional morgue. Odds are, someone died on your cruise. Think about all the old folks you see get onto the boat, for a lot of them this is their retirement home, and cheaper than a lot of other retirement homes. They are literally taking cruises until they die and we eventually find them in their cabins. I am a cruise ship worker. First one is, we don't want you to know that we actually have more fun than the guests. Sure we'll work the big white hot party that you're all going to, but once we finish our shift all hell is breaking loose in the crew bar. Just below and to the sides of where you are sleeping there are crew members having eggs, smoking and drinking. Our beers are $1. No drugs or spirits yo. We also don't want you to know that all those funny jokes we tell you at bingo, yep, same ones are said every single cruise. That really funny answer you gave us about your wife during the happy couples game? Heard it. It was said last cruise and the one before that, and the one before that. We are not allowed to duck passengers, but we do know the all the nooks and crannies the cameras don't reach. There are morgues below deck and a jail cell. We get at least 3 deaths on boat a month. Some people go on a cruise to die. No I do not know where Jack Rose is. They're not real people was a passenger who found out. I was on the Costa Serena in January 2012, just cruising around the Mediterranean. Woke up one morning and all of the crew and wait staff at breakfast were stone cold and depressed looking. They made us do an extra lifeboat drill that morning, to all of our confusion. Found out later that day that our sister ship, the Concordia, sank overnight but didn't have many other details. My now wife wasn't on the trip and didn't know the exact name of the ship I was on and found out before us. She was terrified till the next morning when I could get onto the ship's internet connected computer. We also found out the crew was especially depressed because a lot of them had family on the other ship and very little information. Took a few days, but things got back to fairly normal. I just remembered doing lifeboat drills and thinking they were a waste of time. Learned that lesson. We were sailing from Hawaii to San Francisco to dry dock and make repairs to our ship, when a propeller crapped out a day and a half into what should have only been 7 days at sea, so it added a day and a half to the voyage. People were panicking. Everyone thought we were going to run out of food, until the captain reminded everyone we had enough food for a month at sea, and if it was any longer, some perishables might spoil, but they could fly in supplies in an emergency if needed. We arrived in San Francisco with no more delays. Anticlimactic, I know. On a side note, watching a giant cruise ship getting lifted out of the water to dry dock is surreal as hell. 
Also, sailing under the Golden Gate Bridge and looking up from the 13th deck was super surreal. I was hoping the whole time we were going to clear it. It was probably only about 50 feet above my head. Ship just arrived in Witter, Alaska, the port for Anchorage, and an elderly passenger dropped dead while walking down the gangway. A conflict ensues between the port security and the ship's medical team. The port security didn't want the ship's medical team to get involved because it technically happened off the ship and the local authorities had jurisdiction. There really was no saving the guy but the ship's medical team at least wanted to try but the local authorites wouldn't even allow the chief medical officer to start CPR. The coroner had a 6 hour ETA so the port authorities bagged up the body and stuffed it in an x-ray machine storage container in port, guarded by local police, until the coroner could arrive to take the body to Anchorage. The wife of the deceased continued on to finish the vacation for the 7 day rail trip to Denali. It was a 14 day gimmick, 7 days at sea. 7 day scenic rail trip, my understanding was the cruise line camped her entire vacation, arranged for the remains to be returned home at no cost to her, and provided a personal escort assistant for the remainder of her vacation. I was playing a production show, guitar, was standing on stage with a wireless unit alone to play Purple Rain, and then all of a sudden the house lights came on and the curtains closed, everyone in the audience looked at me, and I ran off the stage. Turns out a sewage pipe burst backstage and there was it everywhere. Show was cancelled and the passengers didn't find out why. Well, all the passengers found out, but on a QM2 transatlantic crossing one of the kitchen staff got drunk one night and hurled himself overboard in the North Atlantic. The ship basically found out the next morning when the first mate kept calling on the ship wide intercom for him to go to his post. That afternoon, the captain announced what happened and that the ship was turning around to, with the help of three nearby merchant ships, try to search for the him. Of course it was foggy as hell and you couldn't see 100 it's but just about everyone was on the railings with binoculars trying to search for the poor guy. A wedding even stopped on board, the whole party out looking once the announcement came that we were in the search area. After, shockingly, nothing was found, the concierge desk set up a multinational currency donation box to send to his family back in Chile. There were 4 days left in the trip at that point and every day that box was stuffed to capacity. I hope it helped them. I work on cargo ships but I've trained with cruise ship workers so I've heard a few stories. I read your comment below and generally the news only picks up on accidents on ships if it's a major accident involving a lot of people. So pretty much only cruise ships and luckily besides the Costa Concordia it's pretty rare these days. I do know that they have codes when speaking about incidents though so to not alarm passengers. For example if someone is hurt dead. Quite common. If you have a heart attack at sea then your chances suck and they need to call for help via tannoy they will use a code so the passengers don't know what they are talking about. Also as someone else mentioned, certain cruise companies that attract older passengers have a separate fridge for bodies because getting through a trip without a death is not so common. All of the computer systems run on Windows 7, including all of the automation of the machinery space, security system, fire detection system etc. When Windows updates it will restart the computers, as it does with a normal desktop. Unfortunately it can also take out every computer at the same time and we're flying blind until it finishes. People may be more worried to hear that there is a hole in the hull yet they're actually fairly common occurrences in older ships and easily plugged. Fires happen occasionally. The most terrifying was a crankcase explosion. The fire suppression systems are good at extinguishing them quickly enough though so they're not even a concern to the crew, unless Windows is updating at the time. I used to be a crew member, and one time a guy working at the front desk jumped overboard after a crew party. He was found a few hours later by the coast guard, and everybody was asked to be discreet in order to keep the crews running smooth. And everything was fine until the captain came on the PA and said we were delayed because a crew member jumped overboard. Then the madness begins. Rumors appear out of nowhere, and the rest of the cruise was pretty much guests asking what happened the whole time. A lot of it happens on board, I could write a book, maybe even more than one. Another time a guy committed suicide in his cabin, and his family was on board, including a little girl, but this time it didn't leak to the guests. I saw the family as they were being escorted to the security office, felt so bad for them. A friend of mine got fired for jetting wasted, got pissed and starting peeing all over his cabin while the security guys were there to take care of him. 
he spent the night in the little Jelan boat before being dumped the next day in whatever port we were. Also, every time we had ice cream at the crew restaurant, people would say it was because they had to empty the freezer to put a dead body. There are small fires in places like the kitchens that happen somewhat regularly. Most of the time they're controlled quickly and no one even knows they happened. People drop dead all the time, especially on some of the nicer lines that are basically floating retirement homes. Ironically it's when there's a survivable medical emergency that guests become aware of it, when they need to do an emergency evacuation either by tender boat or helicopter. One of the ships I worked on a guest jumped off an open deck while we were at sea. He survived though, I think he was super drunk more than he was suicidal. Norovirus outbreaks happen regularly. Farter a literal oh it moment for some people. Edit. Probably the worst accident that happened during my tenure was when a kid literally put his eye out on a ball valve handle on one of the open decks. Pretty sure word spread quickly on that one though. Probably not going to get a lot of answers. I know at least Carnival makes their employees pay for internet. I was talking with some crew and they were asking about current events and politics because they are almost cut off because of how expensive the internet access is. I was a cruise ship worker for a few years and on a route between two cities there was a really bad storm. So a few minutes after the passengers got off, the storm got so rough that the ship was ripped off the docks and drifted out to sea. Because it takes quite a while to start up the engines it took some time until we got back to the harbor. Not really dangerous, but if it had happened while the passengers were deboarding it could have gone badly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to be entered into our iMac giveaway.